cluck, cluck. We are doing creature feature today on the porch. My other area is like staging grounds for birthday celebrations. And um, I had to find another place to do it anyway. She was already in my seat. So I said, we'll just do a misty video, a broody chicken. You see her ruffled up? This is what a broody chicken looks like. Now, this is Misty. She's a farmyard mix, but uh, she's predominantly got some Easter egg and Rhode Island red in her. She is about a year and a half old now. Um, she got her name because, calm down, you broody chicken. She got her name because um, during her batch, I let everybody, all of the subs, name them. I needed one more name, and my aunt came to me and was like, what about Misty? Misty is uh, one, my cousin who, she was like my best friend growing up. She's older than me, so I thought it was so cool. Oh, calm down. I thought it was so cool that she actually hung out with me and stuff. So, so she, Misty is named in honor of Misty. So, she is, um, she's part bantam. Her eggs are a little bit smaller, but she lays, uh, it's considered pink, but it's more of a light brown. She is, she is so not liking this, but she's also not causing too much of a fuss. So, when she, when I first noticed her broody, I thought she was egg bound. I didn't know she had an egg under her because she's just never even acted like she was going to be broody at all. So, I was, I was looking around, like, I was worried, I was reading, like, things to do for an egg bound chicken. Bantams who are barnyard mixes with other larger birds will sometimes get egg bound. So I've always worried about it with her. But uh, but I let her stay there for that whole day. And when I picked her up, there was an egg under her. And I was like, okay, she's not egg bound. She's just broody. You gonna pick my eye out? You gonna pick my eye out, girl? Don't pick my eye out. Now she will swell up and her back feathers will look like a turkey and she I mean she's just doesn't want anybody or anything around her right now she just wants to sit on her nest now I'm actually getting the eggs out from under her because well they're not gonna survive anyway because I do put her up at night there's just too many predators not to put chickens up at night and um, for some reason this is her nesting spot so so she just definitely can't sit out here all night. So they're not going to hatch anyway. So I've been getting the eggs up. But she, she's still trying. She's doing her best. Um, I have considered making a little nesting box in her. I, there is actually a little nesting box in her coop. But uh, she just prefers it here. So. Oh, calm down, girly girl. Oh, it's okay. So... Misty, she she when she's not broody, she it, she free ranges. She goes all around. She's always the last one in the coop, especially right now because I'm having to literally put her in the coop. She's always the last one in the coop right now, though. Um, or always. Uh, I'll get everybody else up, and I'm like, "Where's Misty? Got to go find her. Get her in." Um, she uh, she is Eggie's and Truly's mama. Um. Maybe seeing them is what put her in her broody spot. I don't know. I don't know. Um, she is... When she's not acting broody, she is a fairly consistent egg layer. She's an egg hider also. I, so that's why I've been letting her. As long as she lays up on this porch and in my chair, she is fine laying there. I don't mind at all. As long as I know where they are. Because... Trust me, she's got stashes of eggs all around here somewhere that I haven't been able to find. So, now she's got a little spot right here on her comb. A lot of times this time of year, you'll see little spots on their combs. And it's usually from bug bites. Um, you know, just like us, they get bugs bite them too. And they do tend to get their combs a lot. So, I have been keeping water here for her because she wants to sit here all day um i i don't keep food up here uh it's just 
they have where they know where they can get food and and I don't like to keep food around in random places but she does have her water up here while she's being all broody so that make sure she's staying hydrated and so forth and I know she eats before she comes up here uh, in the morning because I will I watch her so uh, mm. My lapel mic, I'm pretty sure it's just shot. So I, I will do the best in editing to make sure y'all can hear this. Um, what else can we say about you, Miss Misty? You know, she wasn't one of those birds that just stood out to me when she was younger. I mean, she was just, it was just like, oh, there's another chicken. <laughs> you know, you have your birds that stand out. Some birds have a bigger personality. She was sort of just like a plain Jane, but she's definitely now she's like queen of all the birds she really is um you know she don't take no crap uh the other birds look up to her now i put her in with uh cotton and the other birds uh the other day because i thought it was when she w when i first started noticing her going broody and there's a lot of nesting boxes in that area so she did not like it she jumped right out she's she's a flighty bird she can get a lot of heights because she's smaller um so she, cotton just cotton was enamored we'll call it with her cotton just kept going hard on her and so we we uh she jumped right out and so she she's that's not her home she does not like it in there with them um Oh, you're just a cute little bird. We're going to see if we can get... See? Turkey feathers. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute on a chicken. I mean, it's cute on a turkey, too. But... Oh, is that happy? Is that happy? Is that your baby daddy? Say, oh, that's my baby daddy. Who's that? That's my baby daddy. IP is her... Their boyfriend boyfriend and girlfriend that they, they, they stick around each other when she's out and about not being broody um now her and cluckberry used to be really good friends um since cluckberry's been in the other area and she hasn't been they don't really like when i put her in there the other day they just didn't have anything to do with each other which is weird i guess chickens maybe just you know you just lost touch is that right you just lost touch yeah so, um, I am going to make this a quick one. Um, we have, I've got a lot of preparations to do for this weekend. And, um, uh, I, we've got the big screen up and the canopy up, but I've got to finish, like, putting some sides up and stuff like that for the birthday extravaganza. And, um, oh, it's going to be, my birthday's going to be 97 degrees. It's always hot on my birthday, okay? I get that, but it's going to be particularly warm this year so um so we're, we're gonna we'll deal with it we'll deal with it yes oh yeah all right miss broody bird let's say cluck cluck for now say cluckety cluck say maybe i'll hatch an egg for y'all no you won't there we go. All right, cluck cluck, everybody. Misty, say, oh, it's okay. Misty, say, hey, say cluck cluck, everybody. All right, cluck cluck. <laughs>